Hey guys, we're here with another video for Blender, and this one we're gonna be designing gear, like a torque, you know, mechanism bit for your mechanical arms, robotic, you know, design, whatever. So, um, I was creating this model, the, the robotic arm for May for Patreon. It's gonna be an amazing month, by the way. It's gonna be almost three, three hours of modeling tutorial, and then on top of it, it's gonna be rendering to it, and it's gonna May's gonna be incredible. You guys gonna get the uh, a pack of decals with 2k bounce bakes, so really cool immersive decals, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So check out our Patreon link in the video description. But in this video, I wanna show you how to very quickly create sort of a gear that will create an illusion of uh, some kind of a cool mechanism. So cylinder, let's grab some verts, like maybe 60, uh, 60 will do, I suppose. I grab this one, Control B, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Let's just scale it a little bit so it's gonna flatter. And let's introduce some bevel and weight and normal. Select this face, Q, Shift, click on Curve Extract, Sharpen. I'm moving a bit faster as usual because Tempus Fugitive S, scale it. And then we're gonna select this face on the bottom, inset it right here, and E. So now I'm just gonna select these two edges and Control B them. In fact, no, I'm gonna select first this one, Control B this, and this one's gonna be a little bit smaller, and this one's gonna be a bit bigger, so kind of like that. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna grab this bit here and Control R to um, drop a loop in here, okay, and move it a bit up. Select this one as Alt and Q and Control Shift and Curve Extract, move it up a bit. Sharpen this, drop a bevel a little bit because you know bevel is always shooting over there, something like that. Select this bit here, and we're going to um, select this top part and subdivide it, okay? And then we're going to grab the top bit, right? Let me just go to local, yeah, this one, okay? And press I twice, okay, like this. And let's just simply you know, macro this outside and scale it on individual origins. So switch here to individual origins, like that. Then we're going to select this one, Q, D, and curve extract, move it up, sharpen, select these ones, right? And we're going to do the same thing. However, uh, we're going to um, scale it a little bit like this and uh, e and macro, same thing, scale it, but then we're going to move it, so RZ and move it a little bit like that, okay? And actually we're going to scale it a bit more on, on individuals now. Now we're going to grab this this other ring, and we're going to flip it, right? So Shift S and 2GO and then RX 180, so it's going to be upside down. We're going to drop it down, GZ, and drop it down, and we're going to make it a little bit wider and drop it down. So it kind of fits in, you know, in here, right? So RZ and rotate it. So we're gonna adjust this one a little bit inside, right? So scale it a bit out like this, see? And now we got this illusion of kind of a uh, really cool torque mechanism in here. This one might be a bit uh, too big, so we can scale it down a little bit. So it's gonna sink in in here really nicely, see that? And that's pretty awesome. Alright guys, well that's it for this vid. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. And all the links to Hardup's box cutter and all these amazing add-ons in the video description. So if you need to grab them, go for it. They are freaking awesome. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video.